Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a grammar lesson and we will discuss when to use the word this, that, these and those. So let's start. This is my bag. So the man is saying this is my bag. And the girl on the right, she is saying, this is my sister. Okay, so let's look at this sentence here. So he is using the word this. And in fact, in both of these sentences, it is an expression. We are saying this is my bag and this is my sister. So this is is an expression we use to show a single object or a single person who is close to us, who is near us. So here for example the bag is very close to the man and there is only one bag. So he, we use the word this. And it is the same here. The girl on the right, her sister is very close to her. She is next to her. And there is only one sister. There is only one girl. So this is in the singular. And so we use the word this. So this is the rule. We use this to specify or to show an object or person in the singular that is near to us. So this is the important detail for a singular object or person that is near or close to us then we use the word this. Now the man is saying, this bag is heavy. And this man is saying, this computer is expensive. So now it is slightly different. We are using the word this, but we also have a noun. So we are not saying this is. We are saying this with a noun, this bag. So here we are talking about a specific bag. Okay, so that is the meaning of this. We are not talking about another bag. We are talking about this specific bag. And it is singular and it is close to the man. So we use the word this. And it is the same here. This computer is expensive. Not another computer. Not a computer on the other side of the room. No. We are talking about a specific computer. The one in the man's hand. So we use this with a noun to specify an object or person in the singular that is near to us. So again, the important thing here is that the object or person is singular and near to us. These are my children. So here we use the word these. And the expression is these are. So we use the word these to define objects or people 
in the plural, which are close to us, which are near to us. So it is the same as this, but this time it is the plural. So the rule is we use these to specify objects or people in the plural that are near to us. So this is what changes. Here it is in the plural. So this for the singular and these for the plural. These flowers are for my wife. These shoes are uncomfortable. So now we are using the word these and a noun. So again, these is to specify a noun in the plural for something that is close to us. So the flowers are near to the person and flowers are in the plural. So we use the word these. And it is the same here. These shoes are uncomfortable. The shoes are near to the lady. They are in the plural. And so we use the word these. We use these with a noun to specify objects or people in the plural that are near to us. So that is the rule. That is an amazing view. So here we are using the word that and this is an expression that is and this is for single objects or people in the singular which are far from us. So this is not objects which are close to us. This is now things which are a long distance far from us. So we use that to specify an object or person in the singular. So this is a singular use again and it is far from us. So the view is far from the man. That aeroplane is very high. That boat is beautiful. So this time we are talking about a single object which is far from the person who is talking. And so we use the word that and we are talking about a specific noun so this is that with a noun so we're talking about a specific aeroplane which is far from the person and this is the same that boat is beautiful so the rule we use that with a noun to specify an object or person in the singular that is far from us. So again, this is for things which are far from us. And now in the plural, those are my shoes. So we are talking about um, objects which are far from the person who is talking. And this is the plural. There are two shoes. 
and so in the plural we use the word those. We use those to specify objects or people in the plural that are far from us. Those aeroplanes are very fast. And those birds are beautiful. So again, this is the plural for objects which are far from the person. And so we use those with the noun. Those with a noun in the plural. Those aeroplanes. Those birds. So we use those with a noun to specify objects or people in the plural that are far from us. Okay? So those are the four words. So we use this for singular nouns which are close to us. We use these for plural objects which are close to us. We use that for singular objects which are far from us. And we use those for um, plural objects which are far from us. Time is also important. Example. During the meal, okay, it's the time we are, we are during the meal, we will say, this pizza is delicious. So we say this for during the meal, for the present. That is correct. And when we use the past tense, we use the word that. So we say that pizza was delicious last night. So the next day, this is what we say. That is correct. But this is wrong. The next day, when we use the past tense, we do not say this pizza was delicious last night. That is wrong. So the rule here, if an action is in the present or near future, then we use this or these, like here. But if an action is in the past, then we use that or those, like we have here. So, of course, we use this if it is singular and these if it is plural and that if it is singular and those if it is plural. Okay, so that is very important. It is important to um, take into account the time when something happened. And finally, introductions, we always use this. So for example, here, the man is introducing these two men. This is Mark, and this is David. So he is saying, Mark, this is David, and David this is Mark. So for introductions, we say this is. And it is the same on the telephone. So the girl is saying, hello, this is Sarah. She is introducing herself. And so we use the word this is. 
Okay, so let us do an exercise. Question one. Describe the objects near to you using the word this and the word these. And I would like you to give me three things. My example is this computer is black. Okay, I, want, I would like you to give me three examples. And question two, look out of the window and describe what you see using that and those. And I want you to give me three things. So my example would be those cars are going very slowly. So that is what I can see outside of my window. Okay? And I would like you to write your answers in the comments um, below the video, please. And if you do that, then I will reply to your comments to tell you if your answers are correct or if they are wrong. And I will give you the explanation. All right? Okay, that is the end of the lesson. If you would like to subscribe, then you can click here. This is my Twitter account. And these are two other videos which you might be interested in. This is an English listening video. And this is an English grammar video. Okay, thank you for watching. My name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.